Really interesting, Masato Kanda is staying on for another year as a currency chief. And he was behind that $65 billion intervention last year, right? When the yen was getting, what, close to 146. Is that sort of the line in the sand? Uh, well, Japanese uh, officials are very reluctant to talk about lines in the sand. Uh, they like to talk about uh, excessive moves, one-sided moves, speculative moves. Uh, however, uh, if you uh, listen to analysts, uh, we've got uh, 145 uh, mentioned as a possible threshold. Uh, I think most people, though, are looking at uh, 150 uh, as a, a moment where J Japanese officials could get very uh, uncomfortable. Uh, if you look at the levels last year we were approaching 146 when we had the intervention in September and we were approaching 152 when we had the intervention in October uh, but I think you should look out for two things uh, before you really uh, worry about intervention one I think we need uh, uh, just one grade up on the language from officials like Kanda uh, we need something like uh, you know prepared to take bold action or decisive action or deeply concerned about speculative moves you need that kind of level Level of verbal warning plus you need some more movement uh, more uh, volatility in the market so uh, a move of more than two yen uh, of the dollar yen uh, within 24 hours to show that you've got an excessive or, or speculative move because the officials need that to be able to back up and justify stepping into markets how does the mood in Japan over the weekend yen yeah, this year compared to what we saw last year? Well, I think uh, last year we had this kind of sense of panic and impending doom. Uh, would the bottom fall out of the yen totally? Would we go down to like levels of 160 or, or, or even lower? Uh, I think this year um, there's less a sense of that panic. Uh, it's not exactly a comfort zone, but uh, there is a, a little less uh, fear and um, concern uh, about these levels. The, the weekend obviously helps uh, Japan's uh, global firms. Uh, we're seeing Japan stocks close to 33-year uh, highs. So obviously investors are seeing something positive there. Uh, also, we've got a different factor this year that we didn't have last year, is that because we've got all those uh, pandemic restrictions lifted now, uh, we've got tourists back in Japan. So we've got this huge surge of uh, inbound uh, traffic, which is also helping the economy. So all those segments of the economy that weren't benefiting from the weekend uh, last year in the hospitality sector, in the regions, uh, now they are seeing some help from that weaker yen. And we saw that in the GDP figures in the first quarter with a 1.1 percentage gain in annualized terms just from uh, inbound tourism. Also, I think another factor to consider is we are, we are getting uh, closer to the end of the rate hiking cycle globally. So I think people are feeling more comfortable that, yes, the, the yen uh, could get weaker, but it's not going to go uh, spiral out of control like the fears were last year.